Hello everyone! Welcome to a new unboxing video with a new pen that's pretty hot, pretty tropical. Um, it's pretty cool. So let's show you the pen. I've got the box here. Wait, let's show you the box because the box is the beginning of the pen experience. Shouldn't be allowed to do this because my brain doesn't work at any given moment. However, this pen was sent to me on loan by Applebaum. So thank you so much, Applebaum, for letting me borrow this so I could share it with you. Um, it is this year's Mont Blanc Writer's Edition. It is the homage to Rudyard Kipling. So this is the 2019. Um, last year was the Homer. And um, I'm, I'm excited about this one because I really like, I like the appearance of it. I like animal themed things and last year with the Homer the pen is like the Trojan horse so it's really cool and I like this one because you will see the theme. So let's look at the box and then I'll give you some details about the pen. Or should I do the, No, we should do the, the details first. Okay, so um, just so you know, price roughly like 920 US. The nib is 18 karat gold, available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, oblique medium, and oblique oblique broad. So some of those are special order, but you can get them. Piston filler, screw cap, resin body, and resin section. Yeah, some people are not going to like that, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. I actually don't mind the resin because I like the color of it. You will see. Rudyard Kipling, 1865 to 1936, was an English journalist, short story writer, poet, and novelist. He was born in India, which inspired much of his work. He is most famous for The Jungle Book, 1894, if, 1895, and Kim, 1901. He is regarded as a major innovator in the art of the short story. Kipling was one of the most popular writers in the United Kingdom in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Henry James said, Kipling strikes me personally as the most complete man of genius, as distinct from fine intelligence that I have ever known. Okay, I cannot verify that quote, but that is what Montblanc says. This pen takes its main inspiration from Kipling's The Jungle Book. The overall shape is inspired by the Ancus of the King's Ancus story from the second Jungle Book. The jungle green color is inspired by the cover of the book's first U.S. edition. Uh, the clip takes inspiration from the wolf pack. The cap is engraved with Kipling's handwritten initials RK. And the beginning and end of the poem If is engraved on the cap top and cone ring. I'll show you all that in the desk portion of the video. Um, the 18 karat gold nib is rhodium coated and decorated with a fine engraving of a globe which Kipling collected in his office and as such this reminds us of Kipling as a globe charotter. So as I said the pen itself is like 920 US. The ink which is the jungle green ink, oh that's not, there we go, um, is 35 US and I will use the pen for the writing with the ink for the writing sample and the notebook the notebook is really cool that is really awesome the notebook is 72 us yeah it's not cheap it's whoppingly expensive but it's really cool and if there were ever a time that i was going to get a mont blanc notebook it would be this one because this is a really awesome cover absolutely beautiful i think it's really quite lovely so let's look at the box now um looks like a little book so when it's in your bookshelf you got like this like the spine and uh, that slides out you got the box here's your little book I took the pen out just so you know this is the initial that is engraved on your pen and if we open it up it's totally horribly colored let me just do this horribly colored oh nope Let's, let's focus on me, which is browner. Does that help? No, that makes it worse. Anyway, you know what? There we go. You don't need to see it. It's just a cream bed. The pen sits in here. And on the other side, there is your usual stuff that comes with the Mont Blanc pens. You get a service guide, like a writer's edition thing. Um, it shows you... Uh, tells you about the Mont Blanc service. It tells you... Um, it tells you about the pen, like instructions for use. Interesting that they say when you ink your piston filler, um, get rid of four to six drops after you fill it. Wipe your nib. On flights, the fountain pen must be filled and stored nib up. 
that's kind of cool. Like we uh, we always wonder about that kind of stuff. Cleaning of a fountain pen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Caring for the surface. Um, just details. So I'm not gonna really go through that. And then all of the pens, like the the special editions and stuff, come with something like this, which is details about the pen. So this is the limited edition one, not the like really fancy one, which is really cool, which is also very expensive. Um, it's got like Kipling quotes and stuff. So I am by calling a dealer in words and words are of course the most powerful drug used by mankind. Thank you, Kipling. Um, that's from a book of words. Here is a whole like bit about Kipling. I don't, it's, it's long, right? And I don't really want to read it because it's long and I don't think you really want to hear it. The art of the short story. Um, Kipling's highly regarded short stories established his literary fame early on, blah, blah, blah. The shortage of space in the Indian newspaper for which Kipling worked as a young journalist forced him to practice extreme concentration. I mean, it's kind of neat. Breaking radically with literary taboos, Kipling was like a hurricane whirling through the dusty landscape of English literature with a great wealth of ideas, stylistic brilliance, and new content, etc., etc. Um, in honor of this pioneer of the modern short story and world traveler, the handcrafted gold nib is engraved with a globe. So if you want to know more about like the pen in great detail, it's, it's a good book to go through. Um, I kind of gave you the rundown like with a clip and the, um, his signature and stuff like that. And um, that's probably all you really need to know. The engraving on the cap top and cone ring is if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, dot, dot, dot. And then in the bottom section um, at the piston turning knob, it says, you'll be a man, my son. So like lots of little details. I mean, you have to like these pens, I think, or really like the, the person that they are honoring or the details and um, because they're not, cheap pens and they're not really like I guess I should show you the pen right the pen is not a simple pen like if you look at this like there's a whole lot going on not everybody wants to use this on a daily basis so I mean it really depends on what appeals to you it depends on what appeals to you mm, I'm sorry I say really weird things like that so there's the pen and it's pretty big um, it's like a like a girthier pen wider at the top interesting shape like bullet ish So that's nifty. So there's the pen here is the ink and the notebook and The pen So I think that's enough chit chat with my face I think it'd be best if we take a look at the pen in more detail in writing and I'll show you some bits about it and I'll show you the notebook and I'll show you the ink and it's gonna be super fun so see you in a second hey everybody welcome to the writing bits and we're not gonna just do some writing we're also gonna look at the pen and we're gonna look at the notebook and the ink just a little bit like not in extreme detail um, okay so why don't we start with the ink right like makes sense so it's supposed to be jungle green um, here's my swab of it it is, it's decent on the shading, like medium with like average use and um, basically no sheen, right? So if we do this, like this is a saturated swab down here, there's no sheen. That's fine. I'm okay with it. I like the color. Like I like this green. I think it's pretty decent. So there you go. There's your box. It is one of these bottles. This is the larger one. I believe this is 50 mils, right? Uh, yeah, 50 mils. So, there you go. That's the box. That's the ink. I have the ink in the pen, so we'll see that in more detail. Here is the notebook. It's got the little Mont Blanc emblem. It is a leather cover. It's got the wolves. It's pretty. Really nice. I'm going to do a separate video of writing in it because this is more about the pen, but... Um, oh, that's blinding. Sorry about that. There you go. It's got a wide ruling. Not everybody likes that. I prefer a slightly narrower, narrower ruling, but that's all right. Very pretty. I like the theme a lot. I think it's cool. It's pretty expensive, $72. Um, but you know, like if you want this as a gift for yourself or someone else, it's a very special notebook. It's a very special gift. 
And last but not least, let me um, zoom in for the pen here. Oh, that's too far. Sorry. Ah, sorry. How's that? Is that better? Uh, it's basically the same thing. There we go. Okay, here is the pen. It is not a tiny pen. It's not a huge pen, but the cap itself is a bit wider. Um, wait, let's. There's the finial. It is a resin finial quite large, quite wide. Here's the engraving from if, and then the rest of it is down here. Um, the cap then just says Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. There's the wolf face. I love that. It's, it's actually a pretty heavy pen. I mean, it's like a light pen, but portions of it feel heavy, right? Like the cap is the heaviest, obviously because of the wideness of the cap and the metal on here. Um, it's pretty nifty though, right? Like, I like it. Sorry, there's a little starburst on the end of the clip. But look at the wolf, it's so cute. I basically like this just for the wolf. There is the initials, or sorry, there are the initials. Um, it's got this like bullet shaped end piece. Uh, it does not post. The section is fairly smooth. The, sec the threads are quite smooth. This is how it looks in my hand. My hands are like, five and a half inches from here to fingertip or like just under six inches. So I don't have small hands. I would say average. Um, very pretty nib with the globe. It's a bit on the small side, the nib, but you know, like this is one of the reasons I really liked last year's Homer was because it had a larger nib. So that's okay though. We got the nib. It's a fine. Um, so there's the pen. Um, there's that like the ink. This is the ink here. You can kind of see that the color it's similar. I mean, it's a resin. It's hard to match the ink color, I guess, but it's close. Like it's got the same look to it, right? Roughly. Okay. Let us do, let us write, let us do some words. Uh, going to angle my light down a little bit here. And I'm going to turn the notebook so that I can actually do a low writing with you. Okay, let me just lock. And I'm going to just zoom in a little so we can see the writing. There we go. Okay, here it goes, my friends, my peeps. This is actually the first time I'm writing with this pen. Oh my god, it's fine. This is D. Mon Blanc. Um, writers. Edition. Oui, oui. L'hommage to. Ready. Actually, I don't know if that was his nickname. I just like to say the word ready. To Kipling for 2019. This is an 18 karat gold fine nib and the ink is Mont Blanc. Um, you know what? I'm just going to write homage to our Kipling in jungle green. So, um, I, actually fairly wet. It is a mostly firm nib. I'm applying just a tiny bit of pressure. It's not really a yielding nib, but if you really want to squeeze out a bit more wetness, you can. Don't expect much in the way of line variation. You can see that it's actually really well tuned quite well adjusted. Actually, I must admit, it's a really nice nib. It feels really good. It's not scratchy. There's not much in the way of feedback. I mean, it's just got the right amount of feedback. Like I can feel that I'm writing. The pen is quite comfortable. Like, really? I gotta say, it's pretty nice. I mean, I don't know if I would go out and buy one because for, like, 
just because it doesn't really match the rest of my pens. Like it's a bit out there, but um, I, I like it. Like I like a lot of the details and the nib is superb. I would love to, I wish there was a wolf face on the nib instead of a globe because I don't really care about globes. But um, if you're a globe collector, it might appeal to you. Superb though, holy smokes. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Holy smokes. Wow, it's really pleasant. And at a higher angle, still pleasant. Like it's, it's well tuned. They've done a good job on adjusting this nib. So that's fantastic. Okay, everybody, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thank you so much to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. Wish I could keep it. Can't. That's okay. Um, and I hope this was super useful for you. And if it was, I would be super grateful if you would like and subscribe. You could find me all over the interwebs, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and uh, there was something else. I can't remember what the last one is. Facebook, Twitter, Pinst Pinterest, Instagram, Patreon, Gourmet Pens, and also as Toronto Pen Company for all your nib grinding needs and other things. Okay, ready? Take care. We will see you next time. Let me know what you think of the pen, the ink, the notebook, all that stuff down below. Goodbye! Okay,